Welcome to another Telltale Books video. I'm Greg and continuing my coverage of the latest greatest Stephen King book, You Like It Darker, which is a new short story collection just published on May 21st. I'm doing this on June 6th. And I've already read most of the book. I had to stop because I want to read Cujo before I go on to the sequel to Cujo called Rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes, plural. Um, and so my next story in the book, going just in the order of the book, is actually one that was published back in 2018. It's titled The Turbulence Expert. And it was published in Flight or Fright, edited by Stephen King and Bev Vincent for Cemetery Dance, released September 4th, 2018. So this was in an anthology that was actually edited by Stephen King. And now it's in King's collection, You Like It Darker. It's just a short story. And in The Turbulence Expert, you have a man who has a very unusual job working for different airlines, working for all the different airlines. He's a turbulence expert. He knows everything there is to know about turbulence. And he, can, he knows when there is going to be turbulence, even when all the instruments are not revealing it. He knows it's coming and he can prevent it. There's the, there's the cool point of the story. This guy can prevent the turbulence or at least make it more, a little easier on the passengers because otherwise some of the turbulence that can be hit out there can be disastrous for airplanes. Not a whole lot to say about the story. I thought it was a pretty good story. I thought it had a very unique idea. And um, it is uh, not really supernatural, not really horror. It, it's more like paranormal science fiction type of story. And I thought it was enjoyable. This is not great, King. I thought it was an average story, but I thought it was completely enjoyable. And so I recommend it for any fans of King. Go ahead and read it. Don't expect great things from it, but just enjoy it for what it is. A little story that has a really cool idea. And that's all I'm going to say about this one. Go out and read it. Get You Like It Darker. It's still... A relatively new book at the, the time this video is going up. This will still be in your Barnes & Noble. It's still on Amazon. Uh, you can go and I'm sure you can still get the hardcover copy. Somebody might have come out with a limited edition by now. Um, or a signed edition if you have hundreds of dollars to throw away on such things. And you can probably get you, you Like It Darker to in a special edition that will be very collectible and you can resell it for 10 times what you paid by this time next year. Um, anyway, that's the turbulence expert. The next story in You Like a Diaper after the turbulence expert is called Lori. And so that will be my next Stephen King read. And in my bibliography, I've got that back at 255. Although my friend Samantha said that was published online a while ago. I'm not sure when. I could not find any information about where or when it was published. So I got to consider it first publication and you like it darker. But Samantha said she did read it previously. So my bibliography is not accurate for that one, but come on back and join me for that. Till then, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'm going to have a lot more than just Stephen King coming up. Just focusing on a lot of Stephen King because of this one book that I'm excited to read. And I have been, you know, even though 
with any short story collection, it, you get some stories that are really good, some stories that are just good, and other stories that are, eh, you know, you, you it's it's a roller coaster. You get a it's a it's a smorgasbord. In one of my earlier videos, I compared it to a buffet, where you love some of the stuff on the buffet, you don't like some of the stuff on the buffet, some of it you're okay with. Yeah, you get all kinds. And that's just the way short story collections always go. I've never seen one short story collection that was different from that. But it's it's definitely worth it. I, th I think there's enough good in this book to make it worth the price of admission. Definitely. Especially for Keith, Stephen King fans. So I'm going to shut up now and just say I hope you'll come back and join me for the next... Stephen King's story. <laughs>